As we are coming up on April, there's a slew of new PlayStation 4 games that you need to know about. Specifically, in today's video, I want to go over 20 of the biggest games coming up in April. Yes, there are 20 games I think you guys should know about, so without further ado, let's get right into this. Kicking things off, I want to start off with the biggest game of April. At least I think for the majority of people, it has to be the PlayStation 4 exclusive in Days Gone. Days Gone is the latest game coming from Sony Ben Studio, a studio we haven't heard from in quite a while. They've worked on many portable titles such as Resistance Retribution, a lot of the Siphon Filter games, Uncharted Golden Abyss, which was legitimately, even though on the PlayStation Vita, that was a bigger budget title, but now they're moving on to a native PS4 title in Days Gone, an open world zombie survival game, and it is shaping up very nicely. It has potential to be one of the biggest PlayStation IPs going forward, and we'll see how the game turns out as Sony Ben finally makes their return on April 26 with Days Gone. Next up, we have another major release in April, and that is Mortal Kombat 11, the latest in the Mortal Kombat franchise. And this is another game that's shaping up very nicely. I'm always a little bit hesitant on fighting games now just because they have an absurd amount of DLC and, you know, the $59.99 price point really doesn't get you the entire game. However, Mortal Kombat has been a long-running franchise that so many people have been a fan of and an all-new custom character variations give you unprecedented control of your fighters to make them your own. A new graphics engine showcases every skull-shattering, eye-popping moment and Mortal Kombat 11 from a visual standpoint is looking rather great. We'll see how it turns out as Mortal Kombat 11 is scheduled for a release on April 18th. We also have the sequel to one of the most iconic indie games of all time, Super Meat Boy Forever. Super Meat Boy Forever is the sequel to Super Meat Boy, and Meat Boy and Bandage Girl must run, slide, tackle, jump, punch, and kick their way through over 7,000 levels to save their daughter Nugget from Dr. Fetus. Expect your typical Super Meat Boy fare in a very, very challenging platformer. Super Meat Boy Forever doesn't have an exact release date, but it is scheduled to release sometime in April. Next up, we have Sword and Fairy 6. Sword and Fairy has been a long-running art RPG franchise, and most of the games have notoriety in China. These games haven't been received super, super strongly, but Sword and Fairy 6 still looks like a rather interesting game, and I did want to give it a mention. And this is Sword and Fairy 6, so this has been a long-running series. If you can get to a 6 game, you know you gotta be doing something, right? Sword and Fairy 6 drops April 2nd. Next up, we have Scorcery. Scorcery drops two to four players in a close quarters arena battle to destroy each other's runes. Master the powerful and mysterious orb to devastate opponents, run, jump, and flip gravity to outmaneuver foes on these unique spells to ensure victory. If that's not enough, curses will push your skills to the limits and turn the rules of the game upside down, a fast-paced experience that takes cues from real world and digital games alike. Scorcery wastes no time fueling the competition between friends. Next up, we have a spiritual successor to Burnout, and that is Dangerous Driving. Dangerous Driving is an arcade racer, and as the title would suggest you will be engaging in some dangerous driving where you'll bump, shunt, slam, scratch, and power slide your way around 30 dangerous courses set across 7 different locations. Take down your opponent in the adrenaline field takedown races, chain your way to perfection in the boost chain races, or rule every road in road range. If you want a more arcadey style racer, dangerous driving will be up your alley. It drops April 9th. Next up, we have the story-driven adventure Zonky Zero Last Beginning. Zonky Zero Last Beginning has you explore the ruins, dungeons, and islands in the post-apocalyptic world through the point of view of eight protagonists as they fight for survival and search for meaning in their never-ending cycles of life and death. God created this world in seven days. It only took one for humanity to destroy the world, and the world as you know it isn't what it seems. Zonky Zero looks like a pretty interesting game. It hits the PS4 on April 9th. Next up, we have Shovel Knight Showdown. Shovel Knight Showdown has you duel with up to four players and scramble after gems as your favorite heroic or villainous knights in Shovel Knight Showdown. All the classic Shovel Knight characters you know and love are playable, many for the first time ever. Gather your pals for endless multiplayer clashes or take control of your favorite character and dig into the story mode. Familiar controls, items, and mechanics return making this a platform fighting game that anyone can jump in and try. Shovel Knight Showdown hits the PS4 on April 9th. Next up, we have a remaster collection that I'm very excited for. That is the Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney Trilogy. That's coming April 9th. Phoenix Wright has been one of those Capcom franchises that isn't talked about all too often, comparatively speaking to Capcom's other juggernauts. However, they have been received very well by those that played it, and now the original three games are coming to the PlayStation 4. And that includes Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney, Ace Attorney Justice for All, and Ace Attorney Trials and Tribulations. They're great story-driven games, and of course, visually, they're nothing to write home about as they were originally Game Boy Advance titles. But now they're coming to the PS4 with a little bit of a face left, and it'll be priced at the very palatable $29.99, and it's coming April 9th. Next up, we have Vaporum. 
Baborum is a grid-based dungeon crawler RPG in an original steampunk setting inspired by old-school classics of the genre. Stranded in the middle of an ocean in front of gigantic tower, the hero has to find out what the place is, what happened there. Seems like it has a little bit more sublime storytelling. We'll see how it turns out as the game drops April 10th. Next up, we have the latest game in a long-running franchise, Earth Defense Force Iron Rain. Earth Defense Force Iron Rain is the latest in the zany third-person action shooter series, and this one touts over 50 missions and 5 difficulties. The furious battle against the invader, aggressor, is full of chaos. Again, includes over 50 severe missions where you must fight against gigantic enemy creatures and huge invader weapons in five different difficulties. You've got four mobile soldiers and weapons and includes character creation mode. You can select your favorite gender, face, hairstyle, weight, voice, and outfit. Earth Defense Force Iron Rain hits the PS4 on April 11th. Next up, we have World War Z. World War Z is another zombie game, and it unleashes hundreds of fast-moving, bloodthirsty zombies at a time for a one-of-a-kind action experience. Outlive the dead through intense four-player co-op campaign missions around the world and battle both zombies and real human opponents in competitive team-based PvP v zombie multiplayer. That's pretty interesting as it's player versus players, and then you have zombies as well in there, so that might make for a pretty interesting experience. There will also be cooperative play with up to three friends using six distinct classes and an arsenal of deadly weapons. World War Z hits the PS4 on April 16th. Next up, we have Ghost Giant. Ghost Giant is a brand new VR title, and it's touted as a heartfelt puzzle story in VR about trying to keep life together with a little help from a very big friend. Experience a new puzzle adventure from the studio behind Fee and Flipping Death. In Ghost Giant, you are the protector of the lonely boy Lewis, invisible to everyone but him. You explore his world and use your size to help him and help the citizens of Sandcourt. Ghost Giant looks to be a pretty charming VR title. It drops April 16th. Next up, we have World of Warships Legends. This is a game that's been out on PC for quite a while, and it's been received very very well over there it's a massively multiplayer online naval action game coming to the ps4 you'll fight in thrilling battles command legendary warships and enjoy console exclusive content and features again games already been received pretty well so cool to see it make the transition to the ps4 world of warships legends hits april 16th next up we have a story driven game that i'm very excited for and it's our world is ended our world is ended is touted as a new masterpiece of narrative visual novel storytelling you follow judgment 7 a team of eccentric developers working on their latest game in augmented reality. On a summer's day, their AR headset let them catch a glimpse of Tokyo in ruins. Can it really be the end of the world? Again, it follows a team of young developers working on this brand new engine called the World Program when wearing an augmented reality headset. This revolutionary program changes the landscape in real time. I love the art style. Looks like it has a more zany Japanese look to it, so it might be off-putting to some people, but our world is ending does have potential to be really great. It drops April 18th. Next up, we have God's Trigger. God's Trigger has you slay enemies with speed and precision in an over-the-top show of blood and explosions. Play solo or with others, make split-second decisions, dodge bullets, and use weapons and abilities to inflict violence in the most graphic way possible. This is a cooperative top-down game, and it'll definitely remind you a lot of Hotline Miami. The game will have you play as an angel and demon, and they team up to kill their way into heaven and stop the apocalypse. Bullets will fly, and blood will be shed. You can play the game solo, but I think this is a game that'll really be accentuated by its cooperative play. Again, God's Trigger drops April 18th. Next up, we have Agelos. Agelos has you step through time and discover a mesmerizing new action RPG that looks like it was plucked straight out of the 16-bit era. It also touts that it will play like a modern-day experience. It's inspired by non-linear Japanese retro adventures such as Wonder Boy and Macho World, which is great. I love that game, and that's a pretty great comparison point. The art style is terrific, again, especially if you're into those old-school games, and it touts that it's the perfect combination of retro style and modern-day game design. Agelos will be hitting the PS4 on April 25th. Next up, we have Fade to Silence. Fade to Silence is a single player and co-op survival adventure set in a post-apocalyptic world that is frozen in an eternal winter. Snow and ice have shaped a merciless landscape, nature is corrupted, monstrous creature out of an eldritch horror dream roam the frozen wasteland. As the player, you take the role of Ash, a natural but tormented leader. In that role, you explore a post-apocalyptic frozen wasteland to gather the resources necessary to establish a refuge for survival. Fade to Silence has already been released on PC and early access. It hasn't been received all too strongly, but hopefully it can make a solid transition to the PS4. It drops April 30th. Next up, we have a game in a beloved IP, and that is a Power Rangers game, Power Rangers Battle for the Grid. Power Rangers Battle for the Grid touts a modern take on the 25-year franchise. Battle for the Grid showcases stunning graphics with vivid details, pick current and classic Rangers and villains like never before in team battles, test your skills online against friends and players from around the world for endless replayability. Has a streamlined combat system that welcomes newcomers with simplified controls while maintaining depth for the most dedicated competitor to 
learn and master. Best of all, the game is being released at a budget price point. We still don't have an exact release date, but it is set to come sometime this April. And lastly, we have Bow to Blood Last Captain Standing. Bow to Blood Last Captain Standing has you become a captain, fly your ship, and command your crew as you compete to become a champion in a winner-takes-all reality show. Build relationships and plot betrayals to avoid getting voted off the season and become the last captain standing. The game does also have an optional VR component, so you could take advantage of that, and Bow to Blood Last Captain Standing will drop sometime in April. No official release date yet. And that's gonna conclude this video. Again, we just quickly went over 20 new PlayStation 4 games coming this April. A lot of variety from big budget titles to smaller titles, but all interesting games nonetheless. That's gonna conclude this video. Sound off with all of your thoughts and what games you're planning to pick up next month. Thank you for watching and goodbye. Hey guys, we hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, make sure to hit the subscribe button. And if you're already subscribed, do us a favor and hit the bell icon. This way you'll be notified whenever we post a new video. That's the best way to keep up with all of our uploads uploads and we usually try to upload two videos a day and with the bell icon hit you'll be notified whenever we do upload a video as always thanks for watching